Hey, what's going on? It's your boy, Sintel, and we are getting ready to do a watch along for episode two of Cowboy Bebop, the live action Netflix adaptation. So if you haven't checked out part one, please make sure you hit that one first. And of course, hit your subscription button with the thumbs up bell icon so you get up to date notifications anytime something new like this drops. All right, so this watch along is gonna be a little bit different. We won't be able to show like eight second chunks and some of it uh, maybe cut off from time to time. It may have like a funny looking frame. This is in order to uh, restrict copyright violations. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with episode two. Hola, amigos, are you- Ah, yeah, I love the old school cartoon joint. One hand and a creepy calling card to match. Roll the vid. Yo, they look just as corny as they did in the original <laughs> series. <laughs> Oh, oh, dang. Oh, this is a That's juicy terrible. steak, cowboys. With a two million long bounty. Two <laughs> Yo, they still got her original outfit. Yes, indeed, Judy. So, so go get him. I was supposed to say that part. <laughs> She's like, yo, you cut me off. <laughs> ah, yo, well done. That was good. You skip right to the reception. People be much happier. The uh, ceremony's the whole point. No, no. Great music. I like the chapel. <clears throat> Where are you going? I'm going to the bathroom. I told you to lay off that Venusian tea. Stuff burns right through you. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Can you hurry it up? Please don't have somebody walk right next to him and use it. I don't like the worst. Get out alone and the all-you-can-eat noodle bar afterwards. Noodle bar? Yeah, that'll shut you up. Well, you should never ignore huh? Yeah, bruh. <laughs> Another cowboy, huh? What are you taking a dump now? We ain't got... Yo, I love the original soundtrack. You hear that in the background, right? Yeah, that's hot. Nice. Oh. Spike. I have to go in there and help, man. Spike, I think I got some. Oh, if he doesn't look suspicious. <laughs> Grab the wrong arm. Whoa, 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 nice. That was cool. Oh my goodness, he caught the whole thing. Oh, I could use an extra hand. Evidence wise ass. The bomber had to handle the explosive. That's a tad bit yuck. Mm. Figure there's gotta be traces on it. There's that intro, Venus Pop, okay. This being? The bomber's manifesto. Oh. If we're gonna find this guy, we gotta figure out what kind of crazy asshole he is. Right. Anarchist. <laughs> he is so uninterested. <laughs> what a cold shot. That's nice. Nice. Okay. I was gonna say she came in with a little bit of swag, but that's that, I got a limp <laughs> swag. <laughs> you forget where you are. Tori, what's the first call? Whoa. And good night to you too, detective. But he's, fine, I'm 
going. He's about to say he started it. <laughs> Food. Yeah, keep that jazz rolling. But also not far enough. Oh, we'll see the angel's halo. You butchering it, man. There she is. Cheers. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Track the location of the swordfish. <laughs> that old, that old Mac. <laughs> She go. Julia. She had oh, Julia. <laughs> Dang. If that's not the house of a warrior, right? Wow. That definitely proves some loyalty. Doesn't make us question. Wow. Boy. Yeah, he about that life. He about that syndicate life. <laughs> yeah, you got some splaining to do to your lady. She was like, you really actually pulled that shit though. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting none of them draws. Ain't enough sorry in the world. <laughs> <laughs> he tried it though. <laughs> I mean, that's just so easy. Right? Everything is just right there for you. Noodles. <laughs> and we're moving. You know, the freighter looks really good. Nice. I won't. But I did. Wow, that was cool. We have been through a hundred of these. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Until there's something to worry about. Wow, so much for the cockpit. God damn it. My man is really dressed up like a teddy bear. From. Whoa! Nice! Oh! Oh! <laughs> nice! These two. Girl has killed him. At the church. You just keep giving this man bad news. Damn. Huh. Ah. All right, hey, so that was a great episode. So what we're noticing so far is that this is going to probably deviate from the original uh, the original concept, the original cartoon, which is a good thing because that gives us, the people that have seen the original anime, something new to watch. And it makes it fresh and, and cool. Uh, I'm loving that we're getting an opportunity to really dig under the hood and see the relationship uh, between Jet and Spike. Um, it's looking like we're gonna see a lot more vicious a lot earlier. We didn't really get a really good vicious tale uh, until it was really spaced out within the original anime, which is great. I'm, I'm cool with that. It's still interesting. It's still beautiful. Um, I'm loving the set design. Uh, some of the some of the uh, what is it, the uh, the the freighters because uh, they play 
they, they bopped in a couple of times in the animated series as well, and they looked really good. The detail on that is, was, was tons of fun. The comedy is still on point. So it's not over the top, break your back, hilarious, kind of funny, but it's still good, it's still subtle. Um, the music is still an important part of the project as a whole as well. I mean, so much so that uh, we got a chance to see a, a full on jazz bar. Some of the original uh, content, excuse me, not original content, some of the original music was playing as well, which is which was tons of fun as well. Uh, let's do like a quick skim right quick so we can take a look at some of the more, some of the things that kind of stuck out. Okay, so one of the things that I really enjoyed uh, was right here what was the original uh, Bounty Hunter show. Um, <laughs> Yo, the dude is—he's—he doesn't look as corny as your other original dude, but the girl, like, she hit—she hit the money, like, right on the head, including the original outfit as well. <laughs> I love it. Um, so we got a chance to to, to see that. I was hoping they'd kind of bring that in, and then they, you know, they definitely made it their own. And with her getting a little bit mad at old boy for stealing the shine, I love uh, I love the architecture with the um with the, uh, the the churches as well, because if you watch the original series, you know that the churches play a big part, including the stained glass. There's some really cool moments that happen between uh, between uh, Spike and, um, and Vicious that goes along with it. Um, <laughs> I liked the, the fight scene when we get a chance to see one of the Syndicate soldiers and Spike get down, uh, get the chance to flex and see just how dope uh, Spike can be with his hands. It's good. The original opening is always going to be good. I'm going to continue to always sing along with it. <laughs> okay, so when the in, the in the original anime, one of the things that, that stands up the most is that Spike is always hungry. Uh, we didn't get a chance to see that fully in the very first episode, but they're establishing that with the noodles. Him leaving for six hours to go get noodles. I love just what they're doing with the vehicles. When they do get a chance to spend some of that Netflix money, um, we get a really good example of that. Here. That with the hangar opening up, get a chance to see the city. That was that's just a really cool shot. I mean, it's like spot on. I think they used this shot in the trailer as well. So much fun. This these are the bits of the nostalgia that they really do proper fan service. That's just cold. Mm, mm, mm. So that's cool. You get a chance to get a good look at Mars. The interaction between the two old people and the and the uh, the jazz bar was decent enough. We're still trying to figure out all the details regarding her, even though she is obviously powerful. She owns this bar. She's got the surveillance system that's that's keeping everybody uh, under careful eye, <laughs> and she must be really important as well. For one, for Spike to come back and then disclose the fact that he's still around. So it would be cool to maybe get a little bit of backstory uh, regarding their relationship. And she obviously knows uh, Julia as well because there's a picture of Julia that's on the wall. I thought the this scene right here uh, regarding bringing uh, Vicious and Julia kind of like to heal was pretty cool. Uh, the use of the technology in order to kind of like replicate their hologram version in front of like the heads of the syndicate. Yes, vicious. You've been dealing uh, the cool eye. thing too is here, like the uh, in the in the anime, uh, the faces are just a bunch of old, just like a bunch of old men, right? But in this, they're wearing like the masks of it, so you could still get that feeling. I was a little curious of how they were going to do that. I'm not mad at the masks; the masks kind of work. Uh, and then you get a chance to see him. <laughs> he had to prove his loyalty and try and kill his wife, which is funny because <laughs> there's no way you can't walk back from that. You can't, your, your marriage is officially over if you've already pulled the trigger. Ain't no, I felt the weight of the bullet. Nah, that nobody's, yeah, nah, man, she's gone, dog. You, it's the last time you're gonna sniff them draws ever again. That relationship is donezo. I love, like, like even though they've got all this crazy high-tech stuff going on in the world, uh, <laughs> spaceships, escape pods, cities floating in the air and everything, you know, there's still, like, these old-ass uh, uh, calculators that you see on the desk on the right and this old computer over here, which is still funny to me. So it's still like some super low grade tech that's being used. Like when's the last time you've seen a cathode ray two monitor, right? Like it's all flat screens. I don't think my son has ever seen a cathode ray two monitor. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna sum this up. Yeah, it's been it's been it's still a pretty good ride so far. Uh, make sure you check out uh, episode three, and if you've watched this and you get a chance to watch episode one, watch episode one so that you can get some context. All right, and also make sure you hit that subscription button and click the bell icon so that you can get up to date notifications anytime I drop something new. We're gonna go through this whole series, so this is just the first of well the second of many parts. So if you want to be up to date and, and watch this, 
you know, step for step with me, make sure you hit that alert button. This is your boy, Sintel. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'm going to catch you on the next one.